Hello, Putney Central. Caleb here at my office at Marlboro downtown. A uh, train just went by. That's why I was looking over there because it was awful rumbling, but it just stopped. So, Herb asked me to do a little video on how to use Google Drive. Uh, I'm sure most of you have run into this, but Google can use some small icons, so it can be a little tough to move files and folders around and some basic sharing. So I'm going to do this for a few minutes on a screencast, and as always, you can email me and uh, find me in the halls for any other issues or request another screencast. All right, so I'm logging in at accounts.google.com or at the base of the website or at a bookmark you have, and we're going to go to Putney's Google. I'm going to make sure up here that we are in Putney's Google should say your name at putneycentral.org and they have this new matrix up here on the right that has all of your apps so you can go to drive through there day to day you might find yourself clicking this recent which will show you all recent activity documents that have been opened recently or closed recently which is nice you can also star documents which I have these three start and then I can click on start and only star documents will show up recent starred then shared with me in your drive you may not see any documents that someone shared with you because it's your drive but if you click shared with me you'll see documents that have been shared with you and you can see who shared them there is a lot more under here uh, you can see your activity and you can see all items you can connect drive to your computer if you wish to work offline but let's open a document now and see if uh, we can share a little and what 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 sharing may mean let's let's take our one to one program we got some notes I think and I want to share it over in the blue button there there's two levels of sharing within which there are levels and this is the paradigm of the new way of working not just with Google but with all applications Microsoft's in the cloud now there's always who can see the document in this case I have some names here and what they can do owner editor and you can drop down again the very hard to see little triangle and change things or get rid of them or enter new names. Now something people miss a lot, which is also important, is hidden in this word change. This says shared privately, only people listed below can access. But if I hit change, I see there's three levels in Putney. Private, everybody at Putney can see it who have the link, that's key. Only people with the link can see it, but anybody at Putney with the link. And then everyone at Putney can find an access. That's also key. Everybody could search for it and in, in, uh, share it with me and see it. So it's been private uh, with, with just a few people. And that says only people explicitly granted permission. I'm going to cancel all this. Okay, so that's how you share a document. Now... Once we're in Drive, you're presented with files. It says My Drive, it's red, and there's a very hard to see little triangle. And Google and other software people use them. You'll see little triangles here and here. They usually mean there's something to click on. In this case, folders. These folders have a little person on them, and that person means that it's shared with more than just me. And this particular folder has another triangle which has more folders in it. Now, folders themselves have sharing permissions, and we're going to get to sharing, but I just wanted to make sure you understood that you can share a folder just like you can share a document. Anything you put in a folder that's shared will inherit the permissions of the folder. So that can be good for a class or a group of people. Once you share it with them, the folder with them, and you drop a document in there, they'll be able to see it. But let's step back a little and uh, look at how you get a document in a folder. So your documents are over here and your folders are over here. You can actually just click and drag and it'll go in there. That's nice. You can also click and drag more than one. All right, so let's say I've got a document and I want to put it in a folder like I showed you. And I click on this folder and I say, you know, this document isn't in here that I want. Um, I'm going to click my drive and try to find it. I think it had the word notes in it. There it is. Now this document, say I really want it in this folder, it's not there, so I'm going to drag it over. And then it'll be there, which is nice. When you're looking at your drive, you see all of your files, and, and it can get pretty uh, daunting. Like I said, you can star them and only show starred. That's one way people bring the number of files down but another way is you can select uh, a lot of them and move them all out into folders 
And you can also select all of them and say, don't show in activity list. All right, the last thing I want to show you is once, uh, say we're in a file, this, this tech integration notes I use, it's in a tab in the browser, which we want to use tabbed browsing. And I am in the document looking at it right now. I notice there's a table of contents, which I can show you how to make, and there's a header, which just like Word can be put in. Uh, and particularly now, I'm looking to make sure if I've done everything Herb wanted in the screen cast. Share, find, move folder. That looks great. But there's one thing. What if I want to change this name? Um, one of the easiest ways to change the file name is to click up here where it is. It even says rename when I, when I roll over it. And when I click it, I can rename it right there. A lot of people miss that. It's almost too obvious that you click it, right? But... But there again, that's how come I think the kids work faster than us sometimes is they don't overthink it. They just kind of click stuff they want to do. Uh, and again, that, that works here with uh, renaming the file. So I hope we've gone over a little bit better how to use Google Drive and uh, be glad to do more on Google Drive anytime or any other part of Google or all our other technology via screencasts if that works for you. Good luck out there.